I'm D. Shan. First off, we'd like to say thank you for viewing our channel. Truly, my wife and I, we count it a blessing each and every time you view our videos. We are honored and privileged to have this platform to uplift our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless YouTube for allowing us to use this platform. God bless you for taking heed to the words of the living God. God bless my wife from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Mm. Well, today we have a wonderful word of encouragement for you. It's called No Sword. Luke chapter 22 verse 35 through 38 it is written and he said unto them when I sent you without purse and scrip and shoes lack ye anything and they said nothing then said he unto them, But now, he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip. And he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you, that this is that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. <laughs> No sword, no crutch, no prop, no support, no stick, no staff. When you read the backstory, Jesus doesn't license his followers to defend themselves with swords or to take up arms. Ah, when you read the Word of God and you don't understand, mm, mm, mm. let me provide you the interpretation. Jesus told Simon, when you read the backstory to Luke, that Satan desires to sift him as wheat, to break him down, to separate him, to dilute his spiritual strength. But Jesus prayed, hallelujah, for Simon, and instructs Simon when he prevails to strengthen his brethren. You must read the backstory and put scriptures in context. Simon would deny Jesus and feel guilty for it. He didn't know. Jesus had to tell him he would deny him. As a matter of fact, three times. But the prayer of Jesus, hallelujah, would be enough for Simon to pull it back together. And when he gets his self together to strengthen, to encourage the other disciples after they will be scattered when Jesus will be arrested. So Jesus reminded them that they needed nothing when he sent them out before to proclaim the gospel. They didn't need money. They didn't need a purse. They didn't need extra shoes, extra coat, extra clothing. But when Jesus will be arrested, the one who has a purse or the bag of money, Judas, 
one with the purse would use the money to purchase a sword. And the other one, Simon Peter, he would sell his coat to purchase a sword. And at the time of Jesus' arrest, they would not trust him. They will use the sword for their trust. You know, when Judas came with the mob to arrest Jesus like he was a criminal. Hmm. And like Peter, who cut off the soldier's ear, they would use the sword as their trust. Not understanding that if you trust in the sword or if you live by the sword, you will die by putting your trust in the sword or the arms. 2024 firearms. But if they trust in Jesus, they will live forever. Which when Simon prevailed over his failure, over his fault, then he encouraged his other brothers to do the same as well. They didn't use firearms to defend themselves. They understood that they have eternal life through Christ Jesus. To take up arms for believers in 2024 is not understanding the context of Jesus <laughs> or understanding what he spoke when he spoke it. However, when believers take up arms, it's a way to have a crutch or to use as something to trust in just in case something happens. I can defend myself. Forgetting that Jesus taught believers that if someone strikes you on one cheek, give him the other. I know it's hard and it's not popular, but I follow Jesus. You see, the psalmist in his day, way back when it was much more violent, he said, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. He understood that God saves, that God delivers. In 2024, Jesus saves when you trust him. Jesus delivers when you trust him. Jesus supplies your needs when you trust him. But if you place your trust in the sword, you'll die by the sword. So I'll say again, no sword. If you haven't been born again of the water and of the spirit, repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This has been our word of encouragement for you today. Have a blessed day.